operating speed for the current conditions or the published speeds established by TLTV operators. Failure to maintain safe speeds can result in a serious jackknife if braking is too sudden or cause a runway incursion because braking distance is too long. Never maneuver at excessive speeds that require braking assistance from the flight deck. Aircraft should be towed with the steering bypass pin installed. Each aircraft has maximum tow barless steering angle limits. Do not exceed these limits or damage to the aircraft's nose gear and hydraulic system will result. Repositioning of the TLTV may be necessary to avoid exceeding the maximum turn angle of the aircraft. Go slowly when making turns to avoid putting stresses on the aircraft and tug. Anticipating your route and planning ahead can avoid sharp turns and excessive acceleration and deceleration. When towing an aircraft at night or in low visibility, its navigation and beacon lights must be operating. TLTV supplemental lighting must be used to illuminate the aircraft's wingtips when towing at night or in low visibility. All airfield markings and signs must be recognized and understood. All air traffic control communications must be obeyed and proper phraseology and communication protocol must be followed. The cockpit rider is only authorized to apply the aircraft's brakes in an emergency. Aircraft brakes should only be used if a collision or catastrophic runway incursion is imminent, the TLTV driver becomes incapacitated, or a malfunction of the TLTV occurs which could result in the loss of control. Situational awareness should always be maintained by all members to avoid situations in which the use of aircraft brakes becomes necessary. If the use of aircraft brakes appears necessary, the cockpit rider should first attempt to communicate with the TLTV driver. Brakes should be applied smoothly in order to stop the aircraft in a straight line. Sudden braking can put extreme loads on the aircraft landing gear, resulting in aircraft and TLTV damage. If aircraft braking has been utilized, both the aircraft and the TLTV must be taken out of service for inspection prior to any future service. At the conclusion of the towing operation, the TLTV driver will inform air traffic control that the towing operation is completed. He will ensure that the aircraft is properly chocked, coned, and the parking brake is set as required. Disconnect the TLTV from the aircraft, but do not remove the steering bypass pin until the aircraft is free and removed from the TLTV. Perform a walk-around inspection of the aircraft to ensure the tow operation has been properly completed. This concludes the section on tow operations.